that's not mud, and you should run if you see it. Now it's that time of year again, spring cleaning, going out. You grab the feather duster and the broom to get rid of all those cobwebs on your windows. They don't have a chance this time to remove a cobweb one by one. Suddenly you noticed some strangely shaped mud under the eaves and porch. What is that? Does it happen to you suddenly? These should be mud pollinating wasp nests. You probably think there is a swarm with so many nests. Being side by side. Fortunately, wasps are solitary insects. All those little mud huts are filled with paralyzed spiders, sometimes as many as 500 spiders can be trapped in these traps, waiting for the young wasps to hatch. If the nest has holes, this may indicate that the nest is inactive or old. As a mud picker, wasps make holes when they leave the nest. If you are not going to delete them, it is better to wait. Until the night when they are not as active while rather calm, if they feel threatened they will not hesitate to stay. Looks like someone was halfway through building a bug and forgot which part came next. The mole cricket is an insect that really doesn't look like a mole with claws like a mole, a cricket body and the head of a shrimp. This creature is like the platypus of the insect world. They are not poisonous and will only buy it if you hold them in your hand. And if you really annoy him, he has something else in store. Wings. They can spew a foul-smelling brown liquid from their bodies, just like a skunk. So just let them leave your house and there's nothing to clean up. The rock pools teem with all kinds of plants and animals. Sea creatures such as starfish, sea grass, hermit crabs, small fish, and all kinds of octopus. If you come across this little octopus with the blue rings, it's best to leave her alone. It's not for nothing that it flashes neon blue at you. This miniature octopus has a venomous bite 1000 times stronger than cyanide, and no antidote is available. Do not pierce it with a stick. Or try taking one. Not worth the trip to the hospital or morgue. Snakes on land are scary, but snakes are on a whole new level, found in the Indian and Pacific Oceans. There are about 50 different species of sea snakes, and they are as beautiful as they are dangerous. Luckily they don't seem too concerned about us. The Dubois Sea Serpent is arguably the most venomous snake in the ocean, closely followed by the Great Sea Serpent. Their venom makes the bite of a cobra. It was like a walk in the park. The venom of these two snakes is extremely dangerous. It's a good thing for us that it can take hours for their venom to cause symptoms in people if they can bite through your wetsuit, i.e. When that fly lands on your arm outside, you might scream a little. Hey, I wouldn't blame you, the scorpion fly, as the name suggests, has a curved tail that looks like a scorpion's spine, but you can breathe a sigh of relief. This is only used for mating. He also has a long, beak-like head that would feed after stealing insects from spiders, webs to find the perfect mate they'd be happy to give, the equivalent of a box of chocolates and flowers. Except it's saliva. How romantic. If you are in Africa you may miss this amazing bird. If you're not careful, the shoebill stays still as you move forward, climbing up to 5 feet tall with a wingspan of 8 feet. The shoebill sounds like a pointed predator, although it is far from known for being one of the slowest birds. Almost a statue, like the shoe beak, it just eats fish near the surface of the water without caring for the world. This bird is not afraid of people. Well, of course they don't come to talk about the weather. Anyway, let us get close enough for some photos. If you hear a slight chirp in the garden, it could be a mouse, squirrel, or rhinoceros beetle. It lets you know you're too close. They love to make a bat when they tease each other with a huge, creepy horn on their head. It seems that you are able to fight back with that, but that is not possible at all. It only serves to remove leaves and sticks and prevent other males from entering the female beetle's territory. Not only do they have a horn on their head, they also have a Herculean force that can lift 850 times their own weight, just like you or I lift 65 tons or 11 elephants. Hey, let's try now. The little tufted deer found mainly in China looks adorable with its tough hair. Until he turns around. Oh no, it's a vampire deer. Fortunately, this animal doesn't want to taste your blood or where only males breed them during mating season rather than antlers to fight for territory and female crested deer, these canines look more like elephant tusks than sharp-toothed ones. They don't just have canines. But they are also known to bark like a dog and run like a cat when scared. Red Sky at Night Sailors enjoy the red sky in the morning, while sailors warn that no one has said anything about a red tide, 
although the red tide is a poisonous algae bloom that rises from the seabed after particular storms. Ketchup or rust spilled into water, but it's much worse for life around it. Fish and marine animals will try to escape when exposed to toxic algae in their water. It's not particularly harmful to people exposed to it, but eating seafood contaminated with its toxins can make things a bit more serious. So if the sea is red, stay out of the water. Some spiders like to show off bright colors to show their danger, not the Sydney funnel spider from Australia. This shiny black spider doesn't eat theater to prove that it's hard for these grumpy caterpillars to sound serious alarm when they decide to bite us, they can shut down our entire nervous system in just 30 minutes and become their canvas and all shelter. Such as old tree trunks, shoes, or even garden gnomes. Funnel web spiders. Just as they live close to our surroundings for light meals, they simply leave their web behind and go in search of a new perfect place. Some say honey badgers don't care, and I think they might be right if you're brave enough to steal food from a jaguar, lion, or hyena. Hey, what do you have to fear? These tough relatives of the weasel are not only cruel but super smart and have been known to even use tools to escape enclosures. Items like rakes, rocks, and mud just become things to climb to freedom, in addition to its physical resemblance to the skunk, the honey badger also boasts. A dangerous gland and its tail that contains a powerful steak machine, making them tough, smelly, extremely elastic and strong skin. And to top it all, they have a strong immunity to scorpions and snakes. The best thing to do if you get entangled with a badger is to leave it alone. How lucky are we? Ever heard of mushrooms, strawberries and ice cream? No, and his other name? Bleeding tooth. This mushroom is not poisonous, but tastes so bitter that you might think twice before trying it when you are young and growing. This white fungus appears to have red jelly coming out of its pores. This sticky liquid is juice that is pushed up because it absorbs too much water. The adult mushroom is just a dull beige compared to this one. Under the mushroom hat. Where its spores are produced, it has a tooth-like structure to make it even weirder. Tasmanian devils have a reputation for being in a bad mood when threatened by a predator fighting other males or sitting at the dinner table. They are nicknamed devils because of their creaky teeth and one of the scariest screams you will ever hear in the middle of the night. They also eat just about anything they can find together. They are not used to chasing people, although they will defend themselves if they get caught by such a powerful bite. You wouldn't want to be at the front desk. Fortunately, the Tassa devils would also like to escape. 